Um, okay, guys, this is another deep dive into denim, and this is part two. And you guys loved last week, and to be honest, I kind of felt like it was a shit show, so... We, <laughs> we can only go up from here. <laughs> yeah, nowhere to go but up. Um, but listen, the fact that I felt like last week was quite average means that you guys are so fucking thirsty for information. Good information, though. Denim. Not just good thirsty for random shit, because there's a lot of stuff on the internet. Yeah. So, thirsty for good information, that is a really good way to say it, and uh, there is a lot of random shit on the internet, so trust the people that you trust to give you information. If you look at Katura and I, and you're like, that looks good, like I kind of want to get some of that, <laughs> then trust us, but if you're looking at us thinking, when are they going to get those skinny, low-rise jeans out there, let me see what they got underneath there, it's not coming. I got other people for you. Um, <laughs> forward, like lots of different accounts. No shade. Like, no, it's, it is there. It's a place for. So wait, it's a Amy, place for everyone. I know you. You have a tight, tight schedule. Yes. I'm happy to have you in my presence today. Like no, I want to give you a moment to breathe. They're probably they're calling you out there. No, my friend. No. I that live. I went out with a mom friend, and yeah. she was like, "You were coming for me and my skinnies," and I was like, "What do we do?" I was like, "Well, okay." To be clear. We're not coming for you in your skinnies, even when your skinnies have rises the size of a baby carrot. What we are coming for is the people that have been told that those are the only options. Right. They've been told over and over, right. show your body. They've been told over and over. You're too curvy me. to wear yeah. anything oversized. And, and don't, why are you hiding it? Like, we, why are you hiding? We're not hiding. We love this. We're all chill. No. So it's all good. We love that upside um, down heart. No, fuck off. <laughs> Don't even go there right now. Okay, so last week, what we talked about is denim as a valve. Looking at some denim as those that are going to be used to dial down certain mm -hmm. things and viewing denim through the lens of what it can be, what can be dialed up. And we said that when you're thinking about the denim in your closet, the denim that you want to purge, that you're going to do it through the lens of is my closet filled with like a lot of dressy stuff yep. that every time I'm like, I need to take this down so I can wear it. Yep. Well, if that's the case, then there are certain pairs of jeans you're gonna want to bring into your closet that can really help you get a lot more use out of the items that you have. But if you've got a closet that is super casual, then you might need things that are going to dial it up. Yeah. And the thing is, is when you are dialing things down or up, mm -hmm. what you don't want to do is create a fashion mullet. And a fashion mullet is something that is very disconnected. Yeah. So everyone knows, like, if you've got a sequin top in your closet, you're not going to bring in a pair of shredded Levi's right. with it and a pair of sneakers. Like, busy, 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 busy. And, and you just, you look like a fashion mullet. There's no connection between what's happening here mm -hmm. and here. And conversely, if you've got something that is like, super chill and eased out, then you don't want to bring in like some super, something that's been tailored with an inch of its life and like a really strong pump. Like yeah. two, two opposing things together don't make a right. What we want to show you is how to get all that good glue that comes together to build it up, right? Yep. Last week. Okay, so that was what we showed. So last week we showed you up and down right and so there are no hard or fast rules but when we told you up and down jeans yes the berry is an up jean why because it's dressier it's a trouser all the things this week let's talk about chill yeah classic and, and modernity and what are the uh, what are the next level of questions because once you've gotten past like can i use it to dial up or can i dial it down then there is a whole another slew of questions and the mm -hmm. thing is is all of this will seem very analytical, very studied until it does it. And it is really like, you know, if you guys play a sport, the first time you're like learning to play tennis or something, the whole, the first time you're like, I gotta bring my racket back. I need oh to bring it down. I'm a, you know, the head yeah, of the racket one? needs to face yep. forward. I need to have a Western grip or a non-Western grip or whatever. And so then all of a sudden you just like, it just starts getting easier and easier. And you know that then when you're watching Tiafo out there, he is not going through all of those things in his head, it is absolutely natural, and we want us to look like we are in, hopefully, he's gonna be in the finals of the Open, so. Cool. Okay. Questions. So, 
questions. Why don't we start with Grace here? Okay. And we can ask the questions and show like what is the thing that's going to be going through our head in the closet. Hi. Hello. All right, friend. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we are bringing Grace here. And Grace, mm -hmm. why don't you come a little bit closer? We're going to bring Grace because. As you were sitting at your desk and we were getting ready for live, you started peppering us <laughs> with questions. Yeah. Right? I do that last and, minute. And you also explained that you were wearing Tibby and I yes. was like, shocking, like, duh. Yeah. Groundbreaking. I, I, yeah. I had to announce it to everyone, awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> At last second when everyone was preparing. Where did you get this Beavis and Butthead last I don't know. I don't know. It comes out. She sits it? beside me and I feel like it's been there. Oh, it's a, God. It's when you're really, really happy. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. And, All right. Anyway. So, Grace here. Um, so, you wanted to ask, first of all, like, yeah. you, 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 you're you, asking. So, you're not feeling super, super great here with so, what you've got on. So, I can, I'm someone who lays out my clothes the day before, so I'm quick. And yeah. I sometimes pack a variety of outfits because if I go to the gym after or whatever it is. Yeah. So I just laid this out. And when I looked in my closet, I thought it would look good. Mm -hmm. I put it on. I wasn't sure whether or not to tuck it in, to not yeah. tuck it in. So I did both. And then I'm wearing just plain sneakers because I walk around the city and I want to be comfortable. But yeah. I feel like the whole thing together, just it's, it's, I don't feel like myself wearing it. Okay. Fair. Totally fair, right? I, I get that. So first of all, one of the things to think about here is when we talk about one ton or none, in this case, my eye's not actually landing anywhere. Mm -hmm. Even with this white background, I'm like, is Grace in there? I don't mm -hmm. know, you know, like the hair, the necklace, the, like there's nothing that is catching my eye here, mm -hmm. right? And so one of the things that we wanna do possibly is I, I'm I'm anxious to tidy you up a bit mm -hmm. because you've got the jeans slightly rolled up you've got the sneaker you've got a half tuck what I love about this crinkle shirt is it already has a lot of ease baked into it mm -hmm. right so doing this is giving extra ease leaving it unbuttoned is creating extra extra ease mm -hmm. and you've got it rolled up mm -hmm. so I'm just seeing like a lot of ease where I'm anxious to kind of pull back on something. Even you can see like the way Katara, she's quite mm. buttoned up here. She's got on denim, but mm -hmm. she was tempted to really like close up the top, the top of it, right? Yeah. So if I do this, if I push this forward a bit, then I can maybe even keep rolling up mm -hmm. on the sleeve. We talk about big slim skin, the shirt's oversized. But I'm going to like give you a little more skin happening here because I took back this skin here to give this more polish. Mm -hmm. And then I'd like to get you completely tucked in here. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's an assumption that if a shirt is oversized that you can't tuck it in? Because this is a really fine, like thin shirt, yeah. right? Almost like that our gingham. You can tuck this, you can leave it out. Yeah, you are not in a world where you've got like, there's no junk happening in your trunk. So Gracie, already, yeah. like this is feeling more so polished and put together, right? Right. Yeah. right. So then I think what I'd like to do is take a look at, I know that, um, being comfortable is super important. You're running around, you're on the subway, the whole thing. Yep. So I'm anxious I'm wearing to- wearing two different socks. This is, this is- Yeah, so Sarah Brody is like chef's kiss. This is right, you're like- I'm gonna have you take them off for, <laughs> for right now. But also that shows like you're busy, you know, you're working. I'm too here. busy to- Too busy to for socks. Too, <laughs> socks. <laughs> too busy, too busy for socks. That's too legit. But also, too why expend the mind power on yeah, things Yeah, I see, I agree. You know, like, let that go, right? What I love about the Rudolph, for me, when I'm running around, it feels like my equivalent of a sneaker. I don't yes. need a sneaker to, and I'm a sneaker person. Yes. But you have the refinement and also the ease and the comfort. This looks so much better. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. all red, I'm like, mm -hmm. you're like visibly the, the relaxing yeah. and everything now. Yeah. So I think this feels really like. So much better. Yeah. And I, so then I think that if you ever wanted to like, let's say it's a little bit cooler out. Mm -hmm. Can I have the black uh, sweater? Yeah. Yeah. 
So I'm going to take the brown belt here, mm -hmm. and if you'll throw the sweater on. Okay, it's going to get super warm in here, but like, oh. we'll just have to oh, be sorry. Out There's no Beyonce fans, yeah. but. Oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> and, and, and then I'm going to give you the brown belt. And so when you reach for not, you would assume that someone would reach for the black belt, but you reach for the brown. Yes, because what I want to do here is I want to give you all the different rings happening. So this is one where instead of this half tuck business, like maybe just give yourself a little tuck into the, the brown here. Yep. And then I'm pushing the brown off to the side. Let's give that like a little more interest by having it not be dead center. And then... And you didn't even use the loops because it wasn't important. You just wanted the look and the feel. Again, life is too short to think about loops. I mean, Grace. But now, I am picking up like, what you're putting down. Yeah. You know, you've yes. got the whole thing going on. And I think what's great about these jeans mm -hmm. is you're, if you step back, like the way that you're using the roll here, like it's sloppy and fun. And then you are like so pulled together here, mm -hmm. but you're not a fashion mullet. Mm -hmm. I'm not like mm -hmm. seeing like super polished yeah. and I'm like, you know, trash. Yeah. So it's, it's very pulled together. And then it also works here. Like if you wanted to throw on a heel, you can mm -hmm. just shove your feet in the top, Sarah. There's no you chair. Know. Oh. <laughs> I don't really know if I need to hold on to something, but that mm -hmm. would be me that I just knock down all the art on And then there he comes through yeah. the tag too. Um, so then what we can do is turn this into something that is even yep. more perfect. And then if you're going and out. And you have the snaps. You got the snaps in yep. the back. But then you got on the heel. So now, maybe I want to even give you like a oh, little well, more right, casual yeah. moment here. And so this is, guys, like when you're just retooling yourself in the closet, you're just thinking like, oh, I've got in the heel. Maybe I feel like a little too perfect, but then I'm going to push this up. And then I'm like, this is so much better. Okay. And we just, got, and the thing is, guys, we were literally just casting. You were literally just at your desk. Yeah. We did this on the fly. We pulled yeah. it out of the yes. ass. Yeah. And when was, you just yeah. get good at this, good things come out of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out than in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely better out than in. Oh my Who? God. I've been watching Who? all these doctor I shows. I know. <laughs> I have a toddler, right? They say that in Shrek. See? I mean, okay. Disney says it. All right, All right. This is super chic, very put together, and it is really a good example of what we are talking about here. Um, can I yeah. do my little outfit? And I would love that. So we have, yeah. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing here. So it is, mm -hmm. um, it's fashion week time. Mm -hmm. I want to be put together. Um, but like, I'm, you know, I'm not doing your taxes or anything. Like, again, it's fashion week. So what I've, each thing is like a push and a pull. So mm -hmm. it is still warm out. So I've got on the open toe. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the um, rider, rider jean in black, in black, and this has got the holes in it. Um, and but I wanted to wear it with a very clean, polished T-shirt. Mm -hmm. So this is where I'm asking the questions in my hand, my head, like, is this loose and chill? Yes. So mm -hmm. of course, when it's loose and chill it's going to always be th taking things down a notch. But then what I want to ask myself is, is it loose and chill? But also like, is it very classic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So this is quite classic in shape, mm -hmm. but um, this super high rise, long rise makes it- Very modern. Push. Very modern, mm -hmm. right? So there's a difference between being chill with the rip, mm -hmm. but it being like an old pair of Levi's versus chilled with a rip, but very modern. Right. So if this were chilled with a rip, like an old pair of Levi's, doing casting, fashion week and everything, I wouldn't have gone there. Mm. It wouldn't, it would not have given me enough like guts for the moment that I'm in. It's fashion week, let's be real. So yeah. I wanted the jean to have like a strong point of view to it, a mm -hmm. strong sense of modernity. Then the next thing you're gonna go through is like, 
is it a light wash or is it a dark wash? Mm -hmm. So here, being the darker wash, mm -hmm. I felt really good about wearing the camel color. Right. And this, the camel color with the dark wash gave it like a push of irony. I was gonna say, what about if you had on the lighter wash? If I had on the lighter wash, it's, it falls like it's an outfit, but I wouldn't be sitting out there with all the models coming in, right? Right. Because you, you know, like it really depends on where you are, and all of a sudden you catch yourself wanting to have, be in a different vibe. I had one of my closest friends come in yesterday, and she was wearing a colored dress, and she sat down, and like all the models came in, and she's like, "Why the fuck am I in color right now?" With everybody's like, in black. Everyone's in black. Yep. You look great over here in your color in the red. But like all of a sudden when you're out there and all these models are coming in and all the black, you want to always, it is human nature to want to fit into the environment, no matter what. Like, yeah, as you can fight it and you can be the one that wants to completely stand out. Mm -hmm. But I I want to always feel like appropriate. You're in the a part of the environment, but you're yourself. Exactly. Yes. Got me a high five, y'all. That does not mean that you're like, Blending right. in or copying like or whatever. So it's fashion week. I felt like wearing the tan, but I needed the dark colors here. Mm -hmm. So like in your heads, guys, this is going to be like check, check, check. You're going to get really, really good at running this stuff through. I promise. I pull this out because the irony. Well, not even irony, but you're in ring one and two. Gracie yeah. was in ring two, mm -hmm. and so I think with denim, people feel like they can't wear color like. What are the times where you do wear color with denim? Like, is there is there a feeling that you look for? Like, I mean, I know we have that great lamb's wool green. Is that a weekend vibe? I, uh, that's a good question. We should go get the green sweater. Because okay. I, I want to see, like, I'll show you when I do and when I don't. That's, okay. That's a good one. So okay. Cool. So uh, I can talk to them about... Okay, sorry, yeah. real quick. I just want to, before I change into what I'm going to change into, I just want to show you guys, Sarah Brody is the one that got me to get this. Like, I love... You've worn it a lot, too. You wrote it's just so... You know what? Because it's like, it's got enough guts to be worn completely it could on be a sweater own with a skirt. Me. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's this is not some flimsy... And this is also the Tibby gray because Tibby navy is so dark and rich. This is almost black. It's like really dark smoke heathered, but like not washed out. And I like that it has a point of view because when you wore it with the um, fluid drape pant and suit, it yeah. kind of just melded together. Yeah, I want to show too, like even wearing it with the suede here, mm -hmm. like sizing I, different. And this is too, like for me living in the suburbs, right? This is like, oh. This is how you do the suburbs. Right. If you were in this, it would feel like... I would... If I were in this, and if it were super fitted, and if I had this on, and it was shrunken, and then I was wearing, like, a little shrunken t-shirt, and, you know, like, and a pair of Golden Goose, like, I'd straight up, like, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know the outfit. Yep. But then this is how you do the outfit where... It's your town. It's your, like, I love my town that I live in. I'm yeah. not trying to walk down the sidewalk being like, fuck you, fuck you. You want to, like, yeah. be part of the moment. But still uh, yourself. But still yourself. And so since you asked about the color, what I want to show you is, for me, wearing the color with the black denim mm -hmm. or the gray denim mm -hmm. always gives, like, that good friction. Mm -hmm. So this... I would absolutely wear. I feel like this is a vibe that you would And this wear. I would wear. So right. for me, like kids kids sports games or anything, mm -hmm. like this is what I would wear and you would show up and um and what I love is when you show up at the event in Katuri, you're like in the throes of this right now. The throes. The throes. <laughs> the throes. When you show up and you are doing your style and this is when you have moms come up to you and they're like i want to hate on you but i can't i've heard that they yeah. do want to hate on me i walked in and they were like what is this are you beyonce and are they the background singers and i was like no this is just my vibe i know and it's like I kind of but it's kind of but i kind of love it right it's like yes. I, hate, I hate it but i kind of love it you love like nailing your look that i could be at soccer practice right now and no one i'm not the mom 
trying to get like how can I wear these heels in the grass and right. be fine. Right. You're not like like I'll sneak in a sneaker booty like no. Like you're my totally soul just in left your my mind. body. <laughs> I know. So I think wrong. Well, for me, I have always been a fan of denim on denim and it can get kind of tricky real fast. I've worn denim on denim in Texas and I just want to say cosplaying at its finest. Um, but wearing it in a way that's like kind of very relaxed. You see how covered I am. So I feel good about having this on fully buttoned up. If I were to kind of like make this more summery and this, I did break out of that. Like it was like some magic yeah. mic stuff. But wearing this with the tank and wearing it like a slack and I still feel like myself for a mom vibe and I would go out with friends. But then can you hand me that, um, what is that jacket? <laughs> I am becoming my mother, the stone colored lamb. So a way that I kind of pull this together is just throwing on a blazer with the same denim and I have three different feelings for three different activities. So, and I'm gonna do the same thing when the fall comes. So I'll just wear a closed toe shoe or a heel. And this is big er, so the tuck is like straight big, not like. And now I feel like I have oh, hello. big slim, hello. Chic. Yeah, chic. She's fashion, but she's also in the tuck, which is relaxed in the 32. And Amy, Fashion Week much? <laughs> I know. Well, and this is, um, to me, this jean, mm -hmm. when we talk about like it taking things down a notch, it really allows you to hedge your bets. Mm -hmm. And so I had dinner with um, friends this weekend and the place was, it was like, it's called Jean Georges Happy Monkey or something like that. And um, so it's a place that can like, you, you could be so dressed up in there, you could be dressed up, doesn't mm -hmm. matter, right? So I didn't know how my friends were going to dress. My mm -hmm. friend Viosa is very chic, so I didn't know what she was gonna be wearing. So, but you can really hedge your bets by, and this is not, there's a difference between hedging your bets and being a fashion mullet, mm. right? So this, this is a very safe space. Yeah. I feel like for someone it feels pushed, but if you show up, this grounds everything that's yeah. like funky. So you're wearing a little surprise, surprise on the foot. Oh no, it's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see Come it. See. If you can't see it, you'll see it later. Um, but so this is where I'm wearing the compact knit. And I think one of the reasons why it doesn't feel like a fashion mullet mm -hmm. is if this were black chiffon sequin, mm -hmm. it would definitely be a fashion, it would, not a bad fashion mullet, but it would be like, I feel like one of those lucky magazine moments where they're like, Throw sequins on with blah blah blah, you know. Right, mix but, it all up. But this one, I think, because the top, it's got the interesting details, but it's still the compact knit. There's something so easy and comfortable about it mm -hmm. that you don't feel like you're um, you're not fighting your looks when you're wearing it. So if somebody wanted the good ick on them, and they're like, I'm trying to wear a dress up or dress down jean with, because you have on a feathery shoe, how can they create that at home? Is that a shiny patent shoe? Is that a dress a, down jean? So yeah, let me, well, actually, let me do one example here with oh yes, this guy, it. because I think he's dressed down and he's got the fraying. Yep. So he's like okay. a so little harder to navigate. So Amy is talking about um, the Newman jean, which we've offered in acid before, which gave a little texture and a little ease and like, it's chill. I can't even pretend it's cropped. It has, yeah, all the vibes. Um, Amy, you were talking to me earlier and you said that jeans like are really the, the foundation of a CP's wardrobe. Do you feel that that's because it's chill and it's classic in nature? Or that like for us as CP's here at Tibby that, I don't know, we add modernity into every piece? Well, I think that denim, first of all, I, I think that denim is so associated with people who, are, you're just really on the go. Right. You know? Yeah, like, it's the working, working yeah. man's. And you're, and you're on the go, but not necessarily like, it's not laying on your couch at home. Like, you know, it's like you are really like out there getting a lot of stuff done. Mm -hmm. and, and so... You know, and, and then for us, like a lot of our our idols are like Steve McQueen. It's you know, like yeah, it's, it's true, true. Like James Dean, yeah, right. Yeah. Like 
Um, so I think when you can nail denim um, and really feel like yourself, whether you are at play, whether you're at dinner, whether you're at work, it is just like so invigorating because you love denim, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make it work wherever you can. So what I'm showing here is the lighter denim. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about what role would this play in my closet, for me, this lighter denim plays a role. It's my probably my least often leaned into role. That's honest, so, it's true. Yeah, so I'm going to have this. If I have one or two pieces here, like I have this and I have the white uh, tuck jean. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of done for this. Because you filled that gap for you. I filled the gap. And this, this really becomes important for me. Like when I'm wearing something and, can you the lamb Oh there? yeah, sure. Yeah. If I'm wearing something and it's mm -hmm. quite dark and you're wanting to like wear all these different shades, mm -hmm. then this this gives it adds dimension. Yeah, I saw it immediately and from it, a distance. It just yeah. brightens things up. Yeah, it gives you a lightness. And you know, to be honest, like sometimes winter can start to feel so heavy. Yep. And so you don't want everything to be like this. Super is very dark. fresh. And the fact perfect. that you're wearing a crop in the winter with that boot, which is where the boot, um, our booty comes into play. Like, you don't need the tall one. No. Yeah. And I think, too, it's this is one where I would say you can even have a little bit of fun with the belt. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not angry here at what a white belt would do for giving. Um, I almost wonder if you did it over the loops. It's not going to stay. Oh, because it's. Yeah, so Lower. this belt's a little rude because okay. it's but too But if it wasn't wide. so rude, I it's really like this. I'm, I'm, if I it wasn't rude, it was another a little, white one. A little more narrow. But normally, I don't match the belt and the shoes, but because I've got this belt right up here with my top and everything, it's kind of quite seamless. And so this is giving an extra polished off look. It's, you look, it's up, without the belt, it felt fresh. You put the belt on, it felt classic immediately. Mm -hmm. And these are not things that you see together. And this yeah. felt very modern, more yeah. modern, even though you are CMC and all things. Yeah, so this feels really, really good, right? This is a Newman. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you what doesn't feel so good on show. me in the Newman. Please, by all means. Um, Amy, when you are discussing denim, like what are the considerations for denim? What are you thinking about when you put it on and when you're dressing yourself? Just now, you put on a very slim top on top, and this is a relaxed but not full pant. It's almost like a low rise. Well, I'll tell slim. you one thing in a light colored jean, I would really don't go too skinny on a light colored oh, jean. Oh, God, no, you go skinny, you're going skin. Yeah, because it's, when really I see people from behind and they have on light things, it's very hard because it's either your skin tone or, or anything lighter, it just it's gonna hug you. And like it gets very um because you have to think like already the the light like a white jean is already i mean listen if you're like a manual alt or whatever like this french vogue like i mean she can wear whatever the fuck she wants and well, french she does dressing like, is a thing on i know and she looks like i mean she looks Amy, very, i don't even want to stand in here wait <laughs> who are you and what are you selling <laughs> i'm just joking why isn't my son in the right class? Like, no, anyway. So <laughs> I, um, Send it back. I don't want yeah. this meal at all. <laughs> so this is when, um, you know, what you, what you want to be careful of is, even though each item, like, yes, this is pinstripe in it, but it's still chill and modern. And, and, and this is cream colored, but it's still chill and modern. But together, you have to, like, look at what the overarching codes are. Mm -hmm right like this is preppy this is preppy and i don't mean like mew mew preppy like it just it's straight up it's just straight up and it's about you know it, it's i i think it's important that you understand the why behind things the reason why you don't feel good when you wear things straight up is that as an individual creative pragmatist is very like complex like we are not one-dimensional so the minute that your clothing starts speaking a one-dimensional story for you mm -hmm. it's it's not good friction i mean let me let me just add oh to god that. amy you're just gonna <laughs> like <laughs> so the thing about it is 
And we were at the Cape last week. Like, no, I mean, pass me on. my caviar and a chip, please. I, I can't. No, I like, do want some caviar actually, so if you have it. But that would be delicious. I know that would be delicious. Send okay. caviar. So, but Amy, so this look that you just had, it's not that you, you look good in it. And I'm saying that because somebody at the dressing room will tell someone this looks good. You didn't look sloppy. You look well put together. You look like a reasonable person that I would have a conversation with. But you didn't, because I know you. And I know your CP, you're Did not the ultimate myself. CP. Yeah. So what I'm going to show you is if I am working the preppy thing, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get in some good irony to mm -hmm. it. So I'm going to, first of all, get my shirt tucked out because that was tucked out. Are you deep prepping this? No, I'm adding irony. Mm. So, so not, it's, it's not removing, you're just adding. Yeah, I'm not necessarily doing leaning into the antonym i'm mm -hmm. not bringing in like something edgy i'm not grabbing a black motorcycle jacket or something right. i'm gonna because then you have a mullet then i'd have a mullet i would i would look confused yeah and so what i'm going to do here is i've taken our old um like little brody loafer and i've left this out mm -hmm. and i think this is already starting to give like I would probably, yep. what I want to do too, is get this kind of rolled up like I feel like I've seen this walking high. down the street and I'd be like, oh, he's cute. Because <laughs> this is a vibe that I'd be yeah. interested in knowing who this person is. Yeah, and I think too then, like, oh, what about can that? I have the gray long coat? Mm. Yep. So I think here, if I'm wearing the red sock and the blue and white striped shoe and the yellow mm -hmm. denim, then here is where too, like, the mint coat like just going like full-on mm -hmm. like so now I look like I raided Frank's closet my husband's closet mm -hmm. in a good way and I don't feel like it's my husband Frank it's not like I didn't it's not Thaddeus the third's closet it's you know mm -hmm. it's like actually even Thaddeus he probably has some good stuff I'm like him. I know what that and it's kind of it's okay um okay so guys this is about like working the irony and um all right i feel yeah. like we should show them one more shirt with this look okay can we yes okay let's do oh that's good that. what i like about lighter denim on the bottom i really like it for monochrome looks so people have asked us before when should we wear white denim how can we wear white denim i was talking about uh tracy wearing white denim with the stone colored lady i'm wearing it with these ish colors that are not necessarily ring two maybe they're ring three but they're still neutral ish yeah um i'm not wearing it right now but i would wear this with the white tux yeah. and then you'll chill oh okay so um i'm a little chaotic here i got the earrings on i got this strong shoulder mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do is um what i love about this shirt is i really feel like it can swing both ways mm -hmm. so i'm gonna let it and you're wearing the tropical wool. This is actually the recycled tropical wool. Yeah, it's yeah. super cool. Now, Frank, my husband, he he got the makeover. What? He went and got he got a Fauna's guys. He got a Fauna's. Frank makeover. is one of Fauna's guys officially, and um, it's really funny. He emailed me today. He's like. How my clothes coming from Fashion Week? I'm like, okay. He's like, like customer he service at Tibby. <laughs> back off and call Fauna. Like, uh, right. hand. DM your okay. stylist. Um, so this is feeling a little bit better to me. So I'm wearing this. I'm gonna probably gonna pull back mm -hmm. on the earrings because it's a little much. Um, well, the, I feel like that gives a little mullet well, because you look dressy on top with the earrings and yeah. then casual on the bottom. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this. Um, so I'm wearing the black tropical wool. This it does work so well as a jacket yep. too. Um, but I think if I were going to work too, this mm -hmm. wouldn't be my fashion week outfit, mm -hmm. but I could see like being that color wheel. She is, she lives. Yeah. Like this is giving yeah. me like a whole good combination here. Very fresh. And then I do, I just want to see like, would I like if I was wearing it with the brown mm -hmm. belt, and so just like when we talked to Grace earlier, this is not a half tuck situation for you because you're already wearing something casual. I'm already wearing something casual. So you're full, you're, you're either you are or you aren't. Oh, and hello. 
I think I would go with the booty. I don't like the skin mm -hmm. little ankle sandwich here, mm -hmm. but I would do the white booty. If mm -hmm. I did the white booty, I would feel really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I had the brown booty on earlier, so we know that that would be, okay. I would do the white booty. Um, Let's talk about yeah. some other okay. things. But by the way, yeah. too, these come out, yep. so you don't have to be married to the idea of it, but what's good is it gives you really good options it also gives good. you the ease of almost like a lamb because I feel like if it was anything more structured and like the armhole was a little bit higher, um, yeah, it would be serious. Which one? This one? Can I have, uh, no, can I have the acid wash? Yes. No, actually, can I have black soot? Yes, you can have black Sorry. soot. Can I have the black tempura? It's funny because we have like a multitude of washes and we have a few like this is classic that's black but they're also very different they have really different end uses and really different personalities like me wearing the tux right now with that shirt versus me wearing the denim shirt with my sids it's a it's like the eye kind of just moves and gives I don't know it, it gives dimension um, which I'm here for without me having to wear skinny pants and skinny jeans I'm almost curious now because the way I wear my Tux on the weekend, I do, well, I said the weekend as if my life isn't a playground seven days a week. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> JK, this is what I'm wearing when I go home for daycare drop off. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Good. Hello there. So I'm um, putting this on because what I love is this Sid, to me, is um, it is one that is packed. The Sid is like amazing because mm -hmm. it really works as a valve that go, it can really dial things up or down. Mm -hmm. And so what I love is with the tennis sweater, with this kind of asymmetrical neckline, I love that the Sid is giving just as much style as all of this. But it's not giving too much to me. I no. feel like, I like that. I'll be right back. No, it feels like, the beauty of Sid is, it really is meant to be able to play so well with these other um, more designed out pieces in your closet, but it will always, um, I mean, it, it certainly chills things down, but then, if I'm wearing like um, our little gnome t-shirt from a few years ago here, like if I'm wearing this t-shirt, like if I'm wearing the old t-shirt here, Ooh. the Sid dials it up, you know? It's like, it's like, it's playing perfectly here and then it's dialing this up. And then if I, this, this is one where you could wear with like a full sequined top. Yeah. And it would take it down perfectly. The, the That's Sid. why Sid is so good. Sid really is. He, he really like, so, he does everything right. One of the questions I got last week that we didn't answer is what is the difference between a barrel jean and Sid jeans? And I have an answer. Okay, go for it. What's your answer? To me. <laughs> Sorry. Barrel jean, you are on the horse. You are yippee kaye. You are this. Look at me, Amy. I'm David Bowie. I'm standing. I'm starfishing. The Sid, the angle comes forward, and I think you get dimension and I don't know interest at every angle. And that yeah. seam is different from every other seam that's out there. And it also has the ease. Yeah, because I yeah exactly like we said before. Like it's like howdy partner is is what the the barrel does. Look. But this isn't doing it. No, I mean like and that's not a plea. Yeah, that's rude. Um, okay, so Sid here. I'm wearing him with the camel hair sweater. I have just thrown on the size large. Um, I wear a small in it, but you can see that, of course, I would also wear a large and not be unhappy with that. And so what I like is when Sid is taking something casual and it's elevating it. Sometimes it's nice to push it up one more level. Mm -hmm. so, okay, With hardware. You're very chic right now. Um, <laughs> I like how disgusted you are. You're like, oh, can't take so it. So good. Um, so this bit of a wider belt here that I tried to get through the Newman that was too small, it actually fits through Sid perfectly. Again, like Sid. Thank you, Sid's Sid. Sid's like the, the youngest child that can do no wrong. The other kids are like, why are you not Sid? 
So I feel like when I was little, they had the woman and the man. Like, you dance on the side, it's the bride. So here, <laughs> come and knock on my door. <laughs> but oh. I push my, I can't push both yeah. sleeves up, but this is a different vibe. I would totally yeah. wear this down. And I would totally, I push, yeah. actually, I do this. I push this one up with this one down, and I leave this one down with it full. So you are not a fashion mullet. This shirt is quite my, my thing fell refined. Down. Yep. It's, it's like, <laughs> I'm like, here's my boob on my shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder boobs. Oh, no. I don't um, want that ever. Arm boobs. Um, but what this is doing is it is really appropriately taking it down a notch. Yeah. And and it's one that, for me, you what it's good. doing yeah. is, like, if you were wearing the earrings, for any of you, like, people who are traveling and you want to pack light and you were traveling for work, mm -hmm. like you would put this with the suit pant for day. You could put this with like a big black skirt for like a super fancy mm -hmm. thing. This is like you're meeting up with your friends and it really like can go so many different ways. This so, is so good. The refined shirt really like it's elevating the jean. It's doing and this little slit all here, the, good the work. shirt tail. I love that it's right at the pocket. So when you put that, it's just, yeah. Very good. Um, so I'm going to turn on the vest and do like a little sit for business to stay. Okay. I want to try. Because I had on a set and I felt like, I was like, that doesn't, I felt kind of mullety because that was more casual than what I wanted. But what I'm curious about now is because I do like the sharpness of having a white shoe. Yeah. I'm poking out under. I like that. Yeah. Like I go out to eat with you with this one. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you buying? No, I was going to say you're paying, so thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Now, do I like this with this leg shape? Let's see. Oh, absolutely. Right, but see, you see how I didn't just leave that roll. Oh. And so what's happening here too, like when you're starting, like we said, with the tennis players and you're all of a sudden like it becomes natural, like the shine here on the shoe is giving like some good friction mm -hmm. where, you know, what I love about the set sneaker is it's not an average sneaker by any shot, right? It's like mm -hmm. a soft, it's Napa leather. It's mm -hmm. really interesting, the toe shape. But the friction that you're getting here with that shine and that ick. I see it as soon as I look there. Yeah, like yeah. it's giving you more, but the it's The point that's squared off. Yeah, yes. totally. So, um, okay, now well, I want to say here, I feel this is too fussy. Interesting. There's too many, like. See, this is why, because I, I looked at it, I was like, I like this, and it's not about me what do i like about it i liked the fabric but it is a lot yeah i think waist. like it's with, between the elastic and the tweed and the belt it, it feels like just one little bit too much mm -hmm. so i'm tempted to take off the belt um and this is guys too like right. now i want to know if i want to wear this over this shirt you have to burn you're gonna burn burn your baby off. burn i it's giving okay, I'm not going to prejudge, but I think you're going to be okay. So to me, this I'm is hot already. Th yeah, you're making me hot even uh, just thanks. looking at that business. Um, so this feels good to me. So what did show show the adjustment again? You so this when when I did this mm -hmm. first of all, like little things, guys. This is what I tell you, like when you do an order, when you get your uh, when you do an order, when you're at a store, wherever, play around with yourself. You're gonna play you don't use it, you lose gonna it. <laughs> play with yourself. And what you want to do is just move things around the body a little bit. And I and I'm so used to this because Tracy makes me do that because when she's draped something, when she's had a protos sewn up, when I put it on and immediately dismiss it, she's like, Amy, you have to like first mm -hmm. of all trust me. Like she's like, I made this. Like you have to give me the respect of like giving it more time we did body. that with the cocoon sweatshirt right and i was like i want to fold it up oh ah, that was when you first started it's my anniversary and you oh were my god you were so gentle you were like just let me see what it looks like down and i think oh you probably learned god. from tracy that's like just let me see just it. let me let me see it. like and then i put it down i was like oh but that back part Tra tracy's thing is let me play devil's advocate <laughs> you're like what no you are the devil you not look stupid <laughs> That's what she's saying. I didn't say it to her. I yeah, really love you. Okay. <laughs> but when once I do this, I'm getting like a whole different vibe. And here's how you can test it. Like when I do this, like for me, I'm a little fidgety. Like I don't, 
Like, and objectively, like, you go oh, back, I'm behind you, don't like this, I'm not there yet. But you're a little, like, fidgety, right? And immediately, like, when I do this, it's like, everything just chills. I feel like myself. And I definitely, um, can I have um, the suede jacket? I just want to see, like, I love wearing this as an interesting, um, mm -hmm. oh, no, put it on. Even you standing like that, it's like, that's why it's different from the back. Yeah, it just feels, feels rich and good. And then I would absolutely wear the sneakers with this too. And this becomes like my, you know, when we talk about like get rid of a bifurcated closet, wear your clothes. If someone showed pictures of like a real housewife saying and they were supposed to dress like, I don't know, like country chic or something. Girls, I got one of those. They sent the Pinterest and they well, were like. No, there was one where they were all wearing like white jeans and camel and like capes and ugh. Real Housewives like, of Utah. Oh my god, I'm seriously not judging and I'm totally this judging, but I'm not. Um, but this is what I would wear all chilled out and I'd wear it with those sneakers. Is that stuff good? Mm -hmm. it's, it's so good. Wait, what? Is it water? Yeah. I would give you some. You didn't give me any of your coffee. I'm dying over here. I don't trust that. <laughs> No, okay. it's good. This person was like drinking and he needed a thing. Why is it called liquid death? I don't want to drink it. I was scared. I was like, I don't want to die. Uh, uh, but I do want to feel good. Yeah. So he just wanted to look like a beard. It's water. Okay. All right. Mm. I'm going to dress these jeans up and the sweater up. Okay. I don't have to wear like. And I think too, this is where, you know, if you do live in a burb type place, <laughs> you know that, you know that speaking in one dimensions, right? You know, you got um, the golden goose mom. She's running around, right? You got the Lululemon mom. You got a Lululemon mom. She's a, well, she's kind of the golden mom. But then you've also got the Brunella Cuccinelli mom, right? Yes. Like she's, you know, like yep. she, she literally looks like she's, you know, completely like that morning took a bath in her dollar bills. I want to. Um, but, and she's beautiful. Yeah. But it's very classic mm -hmm. and it's very one dimensional classic. and. No shade on Brunello, beautiful, and I strive one day for us to have a company where we can all go out and picnic on salami at lunchtime, really? like Tibby Gold's. Uh, beautiful company, the way he runs it. However, straight up, it's not my style. It doesn't have it. It doesn't have the modernity. It's a, it's a you know, it's a look. I see it Like it's different That's look, nice. right? That lamb. So this to me but is where will. I feel exactly at home with Golden Goose Woman. And then I've got Brunello Woman. You got Aviator Nation Woman. I can't even, like, whatever. You, the, there's, like, the mom is wearing the brand new Melville, and you're just like, stop it. I actually not stop it. Do your thing. But anyways, you do your thing. We do our thing. True. Right. What's so interesting is that I was like, do I like this? No matter what, the tuck will be a dress down jean. No matter yes. how I, I put that heel on, and this is still gonna be denim, no matter what I do. Yes. But that's which is not a bad thing. Can you hand me the key? No, and the because the heel on with this jean, what this to me is executive casual Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Totally. But yeah, and no matter what. Especially wearing camel. Right. Right. If I wore black, it'd probably be a little sharper. Yes. But yeah, even this, it's like to me, it's too, like where am I? I feel melody. It's it. It feels a little bit like. Okay, you made me come to Aspen. You made me do Aspen. I'm Watts. a press E. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. So fine. You're all like at press ski and running around and like here I am. But it's like, but I'm giggling. You're Manhattan girl, so I know. it's just like, right? I made and, it. And what's good though is. When you're in these places, mm -hmm. when I'm at the Cloister Hotel in Georgia, if you are doing the whole après ski thing, mm -hmm. again, you're not like, fuck you, man, I'm Miss Manhattan and I'm in my all black and my, right. right? Like, this is how. So, like, this I is me going you. to homecoming in Atlanta when I yes. go to like college and all my friends are like, you know, VCs and all this stuff. I look rich, but she's. I haven't seen this done this way. Yay. Okay, guys. Brody, Brody. Can I tell you why this is great too? This is, it is so hot in here. I mean, you're I super hot. I can't even imagine. No. Um, but listen, what I love what you're giving here with this is you're giving skirt over jeans mm -hmm. in a way that mm -hmm. is believable. And I always we always have this debate when we're doing a runway show. 
because Tracy and Sarah, they're like, man, give us the dresses of our jeans. And I'm like, okay, on the runway show or when you're like taking the picture and you've got the dress is like hiked up, you got your hands in your pocket and you're standing like this, that dress of her jeans looks cool as fuck. But when the dress like, comes down and you're walking down the streets, you look totally douched out. Like if you, you look, look like a religious person like, oh, I'm mad. And I'm saying that from a person that grew up in the church. I had to wear my dresses over my jeans to go to church because they were like, no, no jeans in the sanctuary. Well, and then I look like a two person, two part. <laughs> so something can feel off for you because you, you have associations with it, right? Yeah. I mean, but listening to like Tracy and Sarah and I, and we're in casting and Tracy's bank, you know, bringing her baggage or beautiful luggage, however you want to look at it. Sarah's got all hers. I've got mine. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it, we're from all over the place. C we're all different ages. <laughs> like, exactly. Um, so you are either going to be bringing the baggage of, like you just said, kind of like, southern religious vibes there which you have and then also when i'm looking at it too like for me i'm like that is just not fucking functional like you mm -mm. you know it's just not this practical. is functional because when it gets cool at night and back with alabama and i'm like i thought that we were in october but, to, but stay here for a second if you'll put it back yeah, yeah. for one second sure. what this is doing too and this is guys when you really learn to play with yourself in your closet <laughs> I feel like that's a book or a porn title. Like, I don't know. Don't Google it. That's all I want to say. <laughs> and Google it at your own risk. I could just see, like, Yusuf being like, Frank? Wait. Couture has been looking if at If I Google that, my, I'm sure you'll walk by like, Couture, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Um, but what I want to say is, what you're going to start to notice here is, what you're giving here is the asymmetry and the interest. And that is what's creating the modernity. And so even though everything is very chill in the wash of the jeans and mm -hmm. in the fact that they're super eased out, mm -hmm. it is chill because you're actually wearing a sweater made from camel's hair, not camel color, but a camel hair sweater. No camels were killed. Please. No camels were killed. They just got a little buzz cut and they were happy. Um, and so now you've got this, the cape and it is tied asymmetrically and is giving lots of interest and a mm -hmm. cool vibe to it. We look like we're real friends. <laughs> we are. Seriously, like it looks like if I saw a side, I'd be like, "Go ahead, guys." But I'm in that know. Richard Pryor movie, and the other one, I'm like, "Look at those two. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, we're going on four years now. Oh yeah, we've been courting for a while. Amy and I have been dating. Oh, we're going on. It has been over four years. Yeah, that's a long time. Um, okay, guys. So um, I I hope you got good stuff out of this. I will say, I think that we I, we wrote up what we were gonna talk about maybe a little bit better than we actually talked because we went into like all the porn speak and everything. But I'm gonna um, put this into, I'm gonna drop it in our notes into yes. Substack. Yes. And then that way you can um, get the thoughtful. And the I'll drop it into comments. my stories. You just, we're dropping everywhere. Yeah. Um, all right, I gotta get back to casting. So. Okay, bye. Um, um, yeah. Hi, Matt. Matt's here. Matt's a ski as well. <laughs> Matt is a prey soccer ski. Crossing guard is what I've been told all day. Oh my God, don't cross, oh, don't cross this. Oh, little Maddie. Okay, all right. all right guys, later, bye.